and about numerical harmonic analysis which is based on Fourier series. We studied in our previous semesters that Fourier series expansion is possible for a function f of x which is periodic and Fourier series expansion is given by f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation an cos pi nx divided by l plus summation bn sin pi nx divided by l where l is the periodicity of the function f of x. Even if f of x admits a finite number of discontinuities, we can depend on Fourier series for its expansion. And here we have considered 0 to 2L as a general domain where f of x is defined. Numerical harmonic analysis is the process of finding Fourier series for a given function by the recorded numerical value given to us in a question. That is, we are given input values x and corresponding output values f of x. We don't have the well-defined expression for f of x. Using the input and output values, we approximately find out the expression for f of x. Since we are not dealing with a continuous case, because the numerical data corresponds to discrete points, we cannot make use of integral sign to evaluate the Fourier coefficients. So instead of a0 equal to 1 by pi times integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx, we replace integral sign by a summation sign. We split the domain 0 to 2 pi to equal length subintervals. When we have k number of subintervals, summation ranges from i is equal to 0 to k. f of x is replaced by f of x i because at each x i points, we know the output values of f of x. dx is replaced by dx i, where dx i denotes the equal length of each subinterval h, which is equal to 2 pi minus 0 divided by k. When we make use of these substitutions and we denote f of x i equal to y i, we get the simplified form a0 is equal to 2 by k times summation i equal to 1 to k y i or summation i equal to 1 to k f of x i. For a continuous case, we have the Euler coefficient or Fourier coefficient a n equal to 1 by pi times integral 0 to 2 by f of x cos n x dx. The equivalent Coefficient an for a discrete case will be obtained as 2 by k times summation i equal to 1 to k y i into cos n x using the same substitutions as before. Similarly, we have b n is equal to 1 by pi times integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin n x dx for a continuous case. When we impose the substitutions, we get the coefficient for the discrete case given by b n is equal to 2 by k times summation i equal to 1 to k y i into sin n x i. Now regarding the Definition of nth harmonic. A general term a n cos n x plus b n sin n x is known as nth harmonic. We know that Fourier series involves expression of a periodic function in terms of cosine and sine terms and hence Fourier series is also known as trigonometric series. So the nth harmonic is nothing but the sum of these terms a n cos n x and b n sin n x. So if you are asked to find out uh, third harmonic then your answer will be a3 cos 3x plus b3 sin 3x in general. An nth harmonic for a general interval 0 to 2l for a function y is equal to f of x is given by a n cos pi nx divided by l plus b n sin pi nx divided by l where a n and b n are the corresponding Fourier coefficients which take the form 2 by k times summation i equal to 1 to k y a into cos pi nx i divided by l corresponding change occurs here for bn also. Let's look at a problem to understand the concept. Compute first three harmonics of a Fourier series of f of x. Here you can see that at various points of x we have output values f of x and how many intervals have been considered here? 0 to pi by 3 is the first interval, pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3 is the second interval, 2 pi by 3 to pi is the third interval pi to 4 pi by 3 is the fourth interval, 4 pi by 3 to 5 pi by 3 is the fifth interval, 5 pi by 3 to 2 pi is the sixth interval. So uh, the domain 0 to 2 pi is split to 6 equal parts or 6 equal subintervals. And since first three harmonics are to be evaluated, we will have to find out cos x, sin x, cos 2x, sin 2x, cos 3x and sin 3x where x values are obtained from the values given in the question. f of x values are recorded here. We evaluate all these columns using the scientific calculator and the last column sin 3x always takes zero values in this question because sin 
three times zero is zero and sine three times the other values when you evaluate you get is just sine of multiple of pi which is again zero now we are going to evaluate first second and third harmonics having found cos x sine x cos 2x sine 2x cos 3x sine 3x values we know that k is the number of seven intervals and in this case k equal to 6 now a naught equal to 2 by k times summation f of x when we have f of x values given in the question we take the sum of all these values to obtain summation f of x all these values are summed to obtain summation f of x which is equal to 2.9 we know that in the general expansion of Fourier series the first term is a naught by 2 so we may calculate a naught by 2 here itself the general expression for a1 is 2 by k summation f of x cos x so f of x cos x is actually product you evaluate the product 1 into 1 1.4 into 0 0.5 1.9 into minus 0 0.5 you take the product of these two columns correspondingly and sum up all the values that is 1 into 1 plus 1.4 into 0 0.5 plus 1.9 into negative 0 0.5 plus 1.7 into 1 plus 1.5 into negative 0 0.5 plus 1.2 into 0 0.5 and you get the answer as negative 0 0.37 to evaluate a2 the formula is 2 by k into summation f of x cos 2x that is you consider the sum of product of the terms you take the product of this column and this column corresponding values are taken as product and the products are summed to obtain f of x cos 2x summation the final answer you obtain is 0 0.1 to obtain a3 you consider the product of f of x and cos 3x f of x and cos 3x corresponding values are multiplied and it is summed to obtain the final answer 0 0.03 similar way we can find out b1 b2 and b3 to find out b1 you have to find the sum of products of f of x sin x f of x and sin x correspondingly we take the product first and the sum of product is evaluated having evaluated all the Fourier coefficients required to write the first three harmonics we can write f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation a n cos n x plus b n sin n x a1 cos x plus b1 sin x is the first harmonic which can be written here as the second term of Fourier series the second harmonic becomes the next term and the third harmonic becomes the last term because in this question we are asked to express the function only using first three harmonics.